Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one we have a bunch of update news to talk about. The 10.40 update just came out and with that, the glow skin is in the game so I'm going to be showing you how to get that for free. Most of you should be able to actually get it. There's a couple of things you need but for the most part a lot of you will already be able to get it and on top of that we're going to be talking about other stuff in this update like new map changes, new event stuff for the end of season 11, a ton of fun stuff that you definitely want to stick around in this video so you know all of this stuff going on in well today's video so yeah guys if you enjoy the video hit that like button down below as well as subscribe for more fun videos coming out in the near future especially with season 11 just around the corner and also if you want to help support me be sure to use code the llama sir in the item shop especially if this helps you get the glow skin for free that's all i ask guys helps me out a bunch and i appreciate it a ton but without further ado here let's go ahead and jump into it now real quick before we get into the glow skin and how to get it for free there's an interesting change on the map that i definitely think you guys should know about so basically this this change there's actually a few changes on the map which we'll talk about in today's video but this first one has to do with the mech and also the story so basically where this happens is inside of dusty depot if you head over to dusty depot right now obviously the rocket has been you know getting built up there it's a big part of the story moving forward the visitor is there apparently the scientist is there as well but it's been changing and there was another change added which as you can see if you go inside of that building and take a look at the screens on the wall the brutes the mech whatever you want to call them are on these screens with some very interesting animations to them it looks to be like a warning type animation you know there's like skulls all around there pointing towards an almost virus looking thing spreading from the brute itself which is very peculiar for sure my main idea is that this has to do with like the timeline splits and things happening around the map with the rift zones and stuff i have a video coming up in the near future explaining more about that but this is super interesting because if you also take a look at the uh other area inside of this building there is a part that's scanning a bunch of the brute parts which adds to this even more so overall it's very interesting and is definitely going to have to do with like this season's event but after that guys got more update changes coming up later in the video but let's go over how to get the glow skin for free that is right guys a lot of you will be able to get this so yeah let's go ahead and get into it and as a reminder the glow skin is this skin right here it's a very interesting skin for sure and it also says it comes with the levitate emote as well but yeah, as you can see right here, if you go on the Samsung site, it says chase the aura of victory with the new glow outfit and levitate emote. Download Fortnite from the Galaxy Store and sign in on select Samsung Galaxy devices to get it now. So yeah, guys, if you have a Galaxy device, there's a good chance that you can get this skin right away. Or not like right away, it comes out in a couple of days, but for the most part, you should be able to get it depending on when you're watching this video. And speaking of which, it says the uh, devices that this works on are the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, the Note 10 Plus, or Note 10 Plus 5G, S10e, S10, S10 Plus or S10 5G, Note 9, S9, S9 Plus, Note 8, S8, S8 Plus or S8 Active, S7, S7 Edge or S7 Active, Tab S6, Tab S4, Tab S3 or Tab S3 Wi-Fi, A9, A70, A80 or A90. So yeah guys, if you have one of those devices, you should be able to get this skin. And also something to keep in mind guys, this skin goes live on the 27th but let's get into the steps of how to get it so first of all guys you need to download and launch fortnite from the galaxy store or galaxy game launcher on your qualifying samsung galaxy device so basically how you do that or at least how i did it was went down to my search bar and searched galaxy and for me what came up was galaxy store and so go ahead and click on that icon that'll then bring up the galaxy store now once you're in the galaxy store you simply want to go up to the search bar and put in fortnite and once you've typed that in, simply click search for Fortnite and the Fortnite installer will show up right there. And make sure it's the official installer from Epic Games Inc. You simply want to click and download that and obviously it will begin downloading. So yeah, once that downloads and installs, you then want to open it up. And I think you're going to need to sign into your Epic Games account first. You are probably going to have to download an update, but I can't remember if that comes before or after signing in. It doesn't really matter. Just be aware that there's an update you have to download as well. If this is your first time downloading Fortnite, on your device but yeah so again make sure you sign into your epic games account when it asks you to and then go ahead and click through until you can also download the update now that's going to take a little bit of time but once you have downloaded that update and you are finally ready to play you'll be able to get into the main menu after clicking through a couple of things like what aim you want to select stuff like that doesn't really matter especially if you're playing on like console or pc or something like that instead it doesn't really matter now after that you then need to go to this store it says specifically the fortnite glow outfit should appear 
you're in the store under limited time offers, tap on it and also make sure your store is set to Samsung in settings, account, content, Android store selection. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but it may be something to keep in mind in case you run into issues. But yeah, that section is specifically the section on the right. I'm pretty sure the actual store, not the item shop, because there's a specific section that says limited time offers. Now, again, they said this is going to go live on the 27th, which is in a couple days from now. So you can't get it right now, but you can in a couple of days. And again, once that happens, you should simply be able to click on it. Now, it also says a notice will pop up asking you to register a credit card if you have not done so already. Click next on the pop up and register a credit card. Your card will not be charged. And then after that, tap the Fortnite Glow outfit again to choose the option to redeem the outfit and emote for yourself or gift it to a friend. By 1231.19 and also two-factor authentication will need to be enabled for gifting. So yeah, guys, that's what it says on the Samsung site. And once you do that, the Fortnite Glow outfit should be available in your locker. And I mean, come on, guys, that's pretty cool, right? So again, if you found that helpful, be sure to use code Lamaser in the item shop. I appreciate that a ton. And once more, this skin goes live in a couple of days on 927 2019. Want to reiterate that? Goes live on the 27th and lasts until the uh, basically the end of this year, 1231.19. And by lasts, I mean like the opportunity to get it. So yeah, guys, but keeping it going here with the rest of the video, let's talk about something interesting to do with the combine. Obviously, you guys have probably checked out the combine by now. There is something peculiar I want to focus on specifically, something to do with a skin that was leaked a long time ago, but never actually released in the item shop. Or maybe it's been in the item shop since me uploading this video. But basically, once you get to this one section of the combine, you will see that the airhead skin is one of the targets that you're supposed to hit, which is very, very interesting because obviously we've been waiting for this skin for a very long time. It hasn't come into the item shop quite yet, but it's here sitting on the combine map, which I just found pretty interesting. So hopefully that means that this skin will be coming into the item shop soon. I don't know why it wouldn't, considering that it is a, you know, pretty cool skin, pretty unique skin. So yeah, we'll probably see something about that very soon. And then after that, guys, there's also been some changes to the void area of the map, which is odd because that area hasn't had much happen in quite a while. And as a reminder, the void is the section that used to be where the soccer field was, soccer stadium, whatever you want to call it, to the west of currently Gotham City, but previously like Tilted Town, Tilted Towers, whatever. It switched to so many different things recently. But yeah, if you go over there, you can see that buildings are starting to get built up. There's this one building right here that's just started. It hasn't made much progress, but you can see that there are a ton of pallets around there, meaning that it is going to get built up very, very soon. On top of that, if you also go over to this area over here, you can see that there are even more pallets. There's a semi truck with pallets on the back of it. So obviously something is going to get built here, but the question is what and why would they build it here of all places? Now, obviously I think that this has to do with the visitor and the scientist since they've been apparently building a ton of stuff around the map. Obviously the rocket has been getting built in the center of the map near Dusty Depot or inside of Dusty Depot. And since this is like the void area that has a lot to do with rifts in general and things, I think they could be building something here to maybe investigate it or it could have to do with the upcoming event. Either way, it's very interesting. If you guys have ideas about that, leave them down below in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And then after that, guys, speaking about another thing on the map that could have to do with the event and things like that, if you go over to the racetrack near Junk Junction, there's a weird change that they just added to it recently. Basically, if you go to the start of the track and take a look at the sign, the like, um, what would you call it? Starting sign? I don't exactly know. You can see that it says coming soon, which is definitely odd. Obviously, it has something to do with the new rift zone right there because you can't complete the racetrack anymore because it goes straight through the rift zone. But why then use the words coming soon instead of like closed or something like that? I think it's more of a reference to, you know, like crazy things going to be happening in the uh, event and stuff like that. You know, coming soon, all of these rifts are showing up. I feel like it has something to do with that, but it's an interesting little change that they could have easily just left out and not put anything on this sign, but they decided to put that for a reason. So I wanted to include it in this video. And then for the final thing I want to talk about in today's video, guys, this also has to do with the mechs, but it's kind of like an odd thing about them. So basically, apparently what's been happening is that when you're in games, sometimes when the mechs land on the map, instead of just landing normally, they actually blow up and you can't get into them because, well, they're destroyed. Now, at first, people started to think that this was a glitch, but then it started to make more and more sense that this could definitely be a part of the story because remember when we talked about the control panel type stuff in the uh, Dusty Depot, whatever you want to call it, the little warehouse, and how there were like error signs around the mechs and stuff like that. What if that 
that has to do with these mechs, you know, not working properly when they land on the map. It could just be another clue pointing towards the story and this event coming up in the very near future, and I definitely think that's what it is. So yeah, guys, what do you think about that? Leave your comments down below, but with that out of the way, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for videos on Season 11 coming out in the near future. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as going over Season 11 Battle Pass skins, and then below that, a challenges guide for the Batman stuff. But yeah, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.